Hello again, everyone. We're in the panhandle of Texas, near Tulia. Mike Goss is uh, a cotton producer here. And, uh, Mike, you've got uh, a beautiful field of cotton. Congratulations to you, first of all. Well, thank you. <laughs> now, I have a feeling it probably wasn't that pretty some time back. Uh, what sort of a challenge did you have in this field? Uh, this particular field, we always, well, weather, spring weather, we have issues, uh, crop up and running. Uh, we've been trying to increase production, so fertility has been a new introduction. So uh, we're trying to try new things, when more you, research. When you started out uh, with a, an effort to improve, where were you on bales uh, of cotton? We were, I would say, on, a, on our higher inputs, uh, two and a half bale was a pretty good close average. Uh, some days was two bales, some days might be a little closer to three or some years, it, we were in that benchmark okay. is where we were at. All right. And you consulted with uh, 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 Jason Birkenfield. He's with Soil Menders. Jason, you, uh, um, uh, what, worked with TPS Lab, got some recommendations? That's right. Uh, a big part of our program is, is the data from the lab. So, um, you know, starting with the soil sample, uh, uh, there again, they're, they're very big on uh, we can see what the soil structure is looking like through that test and uh, Mike's been a user of compost uh, for a long while and uh, so we made some changes there just to increase what we were doing uh, to correct his soil structure but then on in to ask the plant uh, where we collect petioles through the year and uh, and blend uh, fertilizer to run through the pivots for him. Uh, this year we've tried some new products uh, and uh, like what we're seeing so far, uh, we'll see when the stripper runs through. So, when you say new products, uh, sort of what what generally are you talking about? There's the micronutrients or trace elements or what? Well, we do some micros, but uh, the main difference here in this field, uh, we've changed forms of nitrogen. Uh, we're using a sulfuric-based nitrogen now uh, that we can couple with uh, different uh, phosphorus and potassium compounds. Uh, phosphorus is is a a good inclusion in cotton to bump yield, but potassium, uh, we've put a lot of potassium down this year just to reduce plant stress. You know, uh, cotton, you want some stress, but you don't want it too stressed. So uh, potassium helps a lot with that, and we're seeing that in the in the petiole results as well, that we need those things. But a lot of the products from Redox uh, focus on uh, alleviating that plant stress. So that's where we've looked this year, and we've been able to couple uh, all that into one blend into the pivot tank, and it's it's worked really nice. So. Now you've got uh, you got some here in hand. Looks like that this cotton here isn't stressed very bad. Those are a couple of good looking bolts. Yes, sir. Well, thank you. No, we're uh, we've actually been blessed with some recent rainfall, uh, not under any stress. I think our nutrient level is all good. Uh, the analogy I like to think of a lot of times is a balanced diet, like any Olympian or prize mm -hmm. fighter, is uh, don't need carbohydrates alone or don't need protein by itself. So. It looks to be healthy and has a correct diet. So now, since you've been uh, working with Jason, uh, been using a, a sort of the Ask the Plant uh, program from the TPS lab, uh, how has the field production increased? What uh, what do you see? Do you see a return on investment for all of this? As of last year was the first year actually we used the the system. We picked only a few fields. I was a little nervous. But the data actually ended up, we were at least 200 to 300 pounds heavier on the two fields that we did that than we were our other places. So your trend then in production is on an upward swing. Yes, sir. Uh, we had some, I had some personal best records last year, so I was very pleased. So we actually introduced more fields to the program. I sure like what I'm seeing, and I'm kind of excited and looking forward to what's What's going to be at harvest? All right, we, I'm sure we'll uh, maybe able to come back and, and get some numbers for you. We hope anyway. That's Mike Goss. Uh, very uh, very happy with recommendations from Jason Birkenfield of uh, uh, here in in Tulia, Texas, and and uh, with the recommendations of the TPS lab. I'm Stu Ellis. Thanks for listening.